and I'm a lecturer for wearables at the LMU München and um, I teach wearables and e-textiles which is a combination of traditional crafts, textiles um, but also physical computing and electronics and uh, I also guest lecture and I've been running workshops for many years now at uh, local communities, libraries, maker fairs and what have you and um, in my seminar students often develop their own workshop concepts and in the end we go out and test them somewhere in public, like uh, at a festival or we go to a school so that students can test their ideas in real time and get direct feedback. Sure, it's definitely very relevant. I mean, making class teaches uh, children to be creative and experimental with technology as opposed to uh, be in a passive consumer role. So through diving into technology and um, exploring it, they also learn how things work in a much better and uh, practice-based way. And also democratizes technology uh, in a very early age, um, which is also very positive for later on. And it also allows a direct hands-on approach. And I mean, there have been so many studies showing that um, you can trigger critical thinking and just thinking in general um, through making. So it, there is definitely a much more valuable learning experience when you involve um, hands and active making. Um, but also speaking specifically about German situation, uh, I mean, in you can see it even in universities that uh, there's this traditional way of boxing disciplines and it's very hard to um, find anything transdisciplinary. And uh, so if through making class, if um, collaboration between different, different sciences can be promoted, but also collaboration between practice-based and theoretical theory-based approach, if this can be already introduced to students at an early age, this would definitely be a huge, uh, a huge advantage. I would say yes. I mean, it helps students to get uh, to stay focused because there's um, such a huge reward when you've made something actually tangible compared to some abstract uh, learning method where you don't know what's the aim or your, what's the goal you want to achieve. Um, and also it boosts collaboration with peers, with fellow students. Um, you need to find other ways in order to um, make something happen. You need to rely on different abilities and different talents. Um, and also speaking specifically out of experience with wearables, um, it also helps to get uh, girls on board because um, they have less fear for technology if they start with something familiar like sewing and then they realize that it's actually um, not difficult and that it's fun to um, deal with physics and um, computer science and what have you. Um, and I do think that it could reduce uh, dropouts because you just get some students who might not be interested or struggling to um, to show interest um, through traditional ways of learning. You can uh, definitely address them in a more um, specific way and um, the approaches of making could speak to them rather than traditional um, teaching methodologies. Yes, definitely. However, it needs to be carefully planned. So first of all, teachers need to have um, to, to be educated about the advantages of making class. Um, they need to be supplied with ready-made curriculums, with um, materials and kits and resources where to get them. And also a knowledge base is important. And 
I also think there needs to be a community and a network of teachers who share best practices, ideas, um, their experiences and support each other so that teachers who have less, who feel less comfortable in technology or are more frightened by uh, the new, uh, new uh, approaches um, have the possibility to discover it for themselves before they can share the enthusiasm with their students. Mm -hmm.